Now, uh, we are going to discuss about the fifth uh, option in the lines. I have given five categories, okay? That line inclined to both the planes. This topic is line inclined to both the planes. That is HP and VP. Okay? This is the option. Now, see, I just uh, posted a question. Based on this question, it will be very easy to understand. No, instead of we speak orally just about so imagining about something and uh, thinking about perpendicular, parallel, inclined. So, this will be better uh, option, I believe. Okay? Now, what we do is, when the question says, a line PQ, you know, a line should contain two points. It's normally, it will have two points, P and Q. And uh, that, it is the length of 55 millimeter. A line it contains a 55 millimeter. Okay? One end P, that PQ, say suppose one end P, of the line is 35 millimeter in front of VP. We have, you know, learnt about four quadrants, first, second, third, fourth, and third. What do you mean by in front? What is above? What is behind? What is below? All we have learnt. Okay? Now, what I do, basically, how do you start a question? I told you, kindly remember, you draw a line, x, y, a long line, okay, x and y, okay, and it is indicate vertical plane and horizontal plane, okay. Then, now what you do, first you have to line PQ length 55 millimeter, one end of P is 35 millimeter. So, PQ is, suppose I just try a small example here, this P and this Q. This end P is says, end P of the line is 35 millimeter in front of VP. How do we view it? This is HP and this is VP. Okay? I mean, sorry, VP and HP, 35 millimeter in front of VP. It should be, point is here. 30 millimeter in front of VP is point P and 25 millimeter above HP. The same point P is. Okay? Just can kind of note the question. The same point P is 25 millimeter above HP. How do we denote it? It is 35 millimeter in front of VP. It will be somewhere here and 25 millimeter above HP. 25 millimeter above HP, first you have to indicate this line point here. This P Oh, point P. This point P. What it says? The line is 35 millimeter in front of VP. So, the 35 millimeter in front can be always shown down. Because from the top view only, with something in front of VP can be viewed from here. This gap can be viewed only in the top view. That is why 35 millimeter in front, in front of VP is this. Okay, and 25 millimeter above HP, right? 25 millimeter above HP is this one. Directly it is above HP, so this is 25 millimeter. Twenty-five millimeter above HP. Okay, and 35 millimeter. I'll just write. This is the line. This is 35 millimeter. What is this? 35 millimeter. Okay. So this is just I am indicating the point P, P only. One end P of the line is 35 millimeter in front of VP and 25 millimeter above it. Okay. I am just indicating this like this. So this is my point. I can take P dash. I remember. Please write whatever comes in the front view as P dash and P here. This for just differentiating the notation. P and P dash. Now, what it says, see, before this, going to the next uh, line of the question, I would say, any line can be 
parallel to one plane and inclined to other plane. Okay. The option means it should be parallel, parallel to one plane, either to VP, then only it can be rotated, either to inclination to HP or inclination to VP. So we should see that that line is basically parallel to one plane. Then we can obviously write the inclination to other plane. Because once it is parallel to one plane, either to VP or HP only, we can rotate it in this fashion for making it inclined for HP. Okay? And with the R rotation in the opposite fashion to make it inclined to the VP. Okay? And very simple word I can say, tell you, a line which is inclined to VP, I mean sorry, VP can be seen only in HP. Right? Because any line, no, it is inclined to VP means, how do we say? I will rotate it like this. Its direction is drawn where? Down. Okay. And vice versa. How? If it is inclined to HP, opposite side, like this, it is drawn in VP. Okay. That is what we are drawing. Now, in this now, we have satisfied first condition. One end of P is 35 millimeter in front of VP and 25 millimeter above HP. Okay. Then I come to line is inclined at 40 degree to HP and 30 degree to VP. Okay. Line is inclined to 45 degree to HP means we have to make this line first condition to see that it is parallel to HP. How do we see a line is inclined 40 degree inclined to HP? If I have a line, whatever the line is, if this is the line, if we have the line in the parallel direction to HP, is HP now parallel, if I rotate it, in what direction? Like this, in the upper side only, I will see this inclination. But I am drawing it in VP. The inclination of, inclination to VP will be seen in HP and inclination to HP will be seen in VP. Will be, that is the opposite side. So now it is inclined at 40 degree to HP means, inclination actually is like this. Okay. Inclined actually to 40 degree to HP will be seen in VP. Okay. Now that 30 degree, 40 degree to HP means, I will say this line is 40 degree to HP it is P and other end will be Q will be like this. This angle is 40 degree. You write a straight line in a thicker line. This may be a thicker one. The VP line 40 degree. Line is 40 degree to HP. Right? Now what to do? All the condition says, now this becomes, uh, what is the line of length? It is 55 millimeter. Okay. So, I will say this, this line is 55 millimeter. But, this length cannot be at two length because when you see from the front view, it is 45 degree to the angle HP. Actually, it is inclined to HP, which is drawn in VP. Now, uh, this point is P dash. The other point will be Q. Now, what we do is, we have to draw another horizontal line This line is called, I will draw just the line A and this B. This is locus point, locus of P. Okay. This line is called a locus point for P. Why? Because this line is starting from here, the other end will be kept here. So, this makes a 40 degree angle. So, from this point, you know, in the, how do we fix this point, this locus here? From the center, we have 25 millimeter and the height, we fix this point. 
and we have we know 55 millimeter length and 40 degree okay so you just from this point what you do take an compass i mean uh, you know from this you keep your you know protect you know protocol protocolizes the angle makes different angles are there just fix it here make 40 degree and draw a line a long line that long line in that you take 55 millimeter length and cut that point that point you draw a straight line okay and once this is over what you do from this fixed point of p in the bottom you draw another straight line because we are making it the inclined line which is in a different length we are projecting it to make it a true line that is the purpose okay because the image of that line in the opposite plane is how how does it look like is a question either it is foreshortened or length okay it is increased now this line what you have to do you have to just rotate it no sorry you have not rotated because it is a straight line given true length 50 mm this you just bring it down right and make it to touch is this okay make it touch and please kindly see in the question so this you stop with this step then you see the question the line is inclined at 40 degree to hp was first condition and 30 degree to vp we have to show that also the inclined at 30 degree to vp how do we show this i already told you the inclination to vp vp is seen in hp because so you hold a line inclination to vp means what if you rotate like this you can see this from the top view you see a straight line because it goes parallel to hp okay but in the front view you can see vp so inclination to hp will be always drawn in vp only so this line what is this 30 degree 30 degree to vp this 30 degree actually we draw it in the opposite fashion like this. the same line again what you do you keep a protector in the opposite side on this 30 degree you bring it like somewhere here and this will come your another 55 millimeter that okay. the length is same same length is but the angle will be 30 degree that it will make and the same fashion as you brought this down here i am telling about point no other point is q we'll make it this dash here and this is a big remember always write in terms of dash for the front view and top view debit as it is p and q this one you take this line top directly understood the first point is you make it inclined draw locus like the same sorry here also you need a locus locus for q again e this is a b i'll write a, a c d or a dash b dash whatever it is or you can write a dash b dash here locus or you write a b because all notations will be same instead of writing one dash and one without dash so now what happened this line is kept here same fashion you just try and draw inclined line draw locus the end other end of q you bring it straightly down make it to touch from the base point because i drawn p first that p okay this you can give name and line or you need not do it you can leave it as it is now no you you kindly write, draw a locus a big you know extended locus because you are going to rotate a line you will be right away both the side you will draw extended locus point p b whatever it is so first step is making it here drawing locus bring it down it's for line p now opposite side you make it 30 degree you made it that also you write the q here and that q point you bring it top okay yes. the next step what you do hold a pencil and compass to so this length you rotate it and understand you rotate the line and see that you bring it to here can you understand you are having the compass here this you rotate it no no for no, that now that after drawing this straight line here from this point 
okay this you rotate it i am talking about this first first step rotate it here it come and touch it. is this clear with the compass you drawn this make it straight now keep the compass here rotate it down and it comes to this point you can keep it as either whatever point it is you it's it be another cube okay so now join this line and this line this is the original four shortened length of original length 55 mm the 55 mm is actually you have taken because what you did you took 30 degree in the protector you draw a straight line cut by 55 you keep it this lines four shortened length is this this is the answer for pq in the top view clear the same question what you took this q in the top here from the compass you having it you make it so this locus will be here it will touch here this is in this fashion okay now this one you join with this so can you understand the line originally the point will be the q is here i can write it is q dash or q double dash just for information 